back to my channel today i would like to show you the recent automation script that i have written so this is the script which is named as automated web asset finder and vulnerability analyzer actually it is very helpful for both bug hunters plus security professionals let's quickly dive deep into this automation script so here is our automation script if you give any domain name it will find out the subdomains for the given domain and also from the subdomains it will filter out the web assets web assets are nothing but the subdomains which are running http servers so after finding the web assets it will also scan those web assets for finding vulnerabilities so this is the process once all these steps are done it will store the vulnerability details results into mongodb and let's quickly install this uh, automation script and uh, let's let us run this script and let's see what it will do so before running this script there are some prerequisites for this script one is mongodb has to be installed that is one and uh, you should have node.js installed and also you need to install subfinder which can be helpful to find out the subdomains and http ex which can be useful for web asset discovery and nuclei where we are using nuclei as our vulnerability scanning purpose let us see whether i have installed those things or not let me check the subfinder first yeah subfinder is there httpx is there nuclei is there okay let's see the mongo yeah i have mongodb pre-installed okay so the prerequisites are satisfied let's quickly clone this automation script uh, let's type git clone okay i am cloning this uh, automation script from my github repo uh, cd so a readme file has been downloaded and with mongo.js is downloaded let's follow the readme so i, I need to install all these required uh, libraries I'm simply pasting it yeah i'm installing all the required uh, modules See, I have installed all the required modules. Okay, I cloned it. Now I need to run this script actually. So not with Mongo. So I am running this. Okay, it is asking me the domain name. I am entering hacker1 for example. I have given the domain name. let's see what it outputs so it, it initially it is giving me all the subdomain list okay so probably uh, it is taking the domain name and uh, later it is using subfinder to identify the subdomains and it is showing us okay that is cool until now see out of these subdomains it is filter out, filtering out all the web asset list okay so these are the subdomains which are running http servers mm, probably these are hosting some web applications okay so web assets are stored in database successfully so these details are stored in mongodb okay now it picked up one web asset now it is scanning this web asset using nuclear let's see what it will output
see picked up this domain and it is giving the vulnerabilities similarly it will again pick up another web asset and it will scan through nuclear and it will give the vulnerability details if you want to see these results these results will be stored in mango so databases db dot use automation if you see the collections without vulnerability details dot find asset of one.com I need to give uh, flower brackets see the results will be stored in uh, MongoDB like this so in this way it will take the domain name as user input later it will identify the subdomains from the subdomains it will identify web assets and later it will scan all web assets for vulnerabilities and it will be stored in MongoDB like this so let's see the code actually how it is being written see it is the code that I have written so here I am installing all the required uh, modules and uh, I have defined the database name and collection names from here and here I am taking the user input as the domain name later I am call later I am executing this command subfinder with the domain name and uh, I am outputting the data into txt later I am calling this function web asset discovery it will find out the web assets using httpx after that what are the results I am getting from the httpx I will process those results and I will store in a database and later I will send all those web assets to my nuclear scanner it will scan and it will store all the vulnerability details within the database so this is the automation script and uh, it will do all the magical things for us so you can use this in your bug hunting journey or else if, if you are working in any organization if you want to find out the uh, web assets for organization and if you want to scan those web assets you can use this uh, security automation script to do the things that's all for today thank you guys